AITA for going NC with my parents after they supported my boyfriend cheating on me with my sister. Burner account CZ, I don't want people at my workplace to find about this, and my original account will easily give away who I am. My parents did not have a favorite child growing up. I now 24F, up until two years back was in a relationship with a guy I met in college. I introduced him to my family two years back and my parents did not really like him because of our cultural differences, but were not rude to him. Though my sisters, now 22F and 11F enjoyed his company and welcomed him as a part of our family which made me overjoyed. For context, this guy and me worked in a different city and had been there for just two days and we did not live together because I come from a culture that sees it as a sin and we could not get a place together before we are married. After the meeting with my family, we left within two days. Three months after this meeting, I was at my boyfriend's place and while he was in the washroom there was a notification on his phone. Normally I don't look through his phone but that day I don't know what happened and I did. It was my sister's message. I went through their chats and it was full of sexual and flirty texts. I took a screenshot of all of that, sent it to my phone and left without saying a word. Before I reached my apartment my phone was blowing up with his calls and messages because I did not care to delete the pictures. I told him to fuck off, send it to our friend's group chat, we had the same friend group in college, and blocked him. More than his betrayal I was broken and hurt because of my sister's betrayal. We had been present for each other because of being so close in age and our parents being absent and neglectful. The very next day I flew off to my parents' place, she lived with our parents. I confronted her in front of our family and she admitted all of it without an ounce of shame and hesitation. My mother slapped her and dad was very very angry at her. I was no longer angry, just hurt and I felt completely broken. Dad gave her a week to move out but two days later she came in to say that she was pregnant with my ex's child and this made my parents to soften up to her. I said a lot of harsh words to them and they told me that no matter what, they won't abandon her. I left and told them never to contact me ever again. I just kept in touch with my youngest sister because she's a kid and I was worried about her. I blocked my entire family except her. Two weeks after all this fiasco, I received the wedding invitation from my mother who had got a new number just to talk to me. Honestly, I was not shocked about the wedding because my parents are very image conscious and here having a child out of wedlock is the biggest sin. She called me to say that I have to attend this wedding for the sake of our family as, what will people say if I don't? She went on to say that even I have to get married before my sister's child comes into this world because I am older than her. I told her to get lost and blocked this new number of hers. As expected, their wedding happened and my parents told all the relatives that I wasn't there because I had work commitments. Some relatives and a few cousins I am close to reached out to me asking why I wasn't there. Most of them were genuinely concerned while others were blaming me for not being there for the family and being selfish. Now this is a bit out of character for me but I went to Facebook and made a post detailing what had happened. Within a few hours my phone was blowing up but I ignored it and eventually it stopped. I just talked to a cousin and she was on my side and I was sure now most of my extended family knows what happened. Now coming to the present, my dad passed away five days back and though he was not the best person out there, he was my dad. My mom did not even care to tell me and it was my baby sister who called me crying. I booked the first flight available and went to their place. My sister and mother just after seeing me went ahead cursing me and saying that I had no right to be there after abandoning them and I was just there for the money and most of the elder relatives agreed. My dad had a will and I am surprised knowing that he has me in the will. In fact I have the most share in all his assets combined it goes like, me 40%, my youngest sister 30%, my mom 20% and my dishbag of a sister 10%. My scumbag sister and her husband want me to give up my share and threaten to sue me if I don't do that. I know they cannot do anything legally. Now honestly even I feel that this is just too twisted and my dad would have given a much more portion because because she has a year old son and he had taken her side during all that fiasco. But there is no way I am giving them anything after what they did to me. We have a meeting with my dad's lawyer in a few hours and then maybe things will be more clear. Edit. I am on my way back to the hotel. I did not think this post would blow up. Thank you to everyone who sent kind words. So I had a meeting with my dad's lawyer and now some of my questions have been answered. The lawyer is also my father's really close friend. My dad absolutely regretted what has happened to me but he couldn't go against the cultural norms and my mother. He never supported my sister. It was always my mother but he did not interfere. He was guilty and when I had cut off all contact there had been an instant when he had called out my sister and her husband calling them selfish and cheaters. This happened in the absence of my youngest sister so I never knew of this. He constantly checked upon me through my sister but never had the courage to contact me. He had been suffering from heart disease for a long time and he had a sudden heart attack. He left my sister money so that she could not easily challenge the court and also for her kid, I doubt she will save up anything for her son with her extravagant lifestyle. My mother has been a stay-at-home mom all her life so this is a sort of her retirement money which he felt he owed her. The house has always been in my mom's name so I have been living in the hotel. My youngest sister has a fund of a really good amount which she will receive when she turns 18 and nobody can access it before that, not even my mom, to which I am thankful. I have the same amount as her with all his shares, because my father was a very active investor. This is what the lawyer told me. Now to the person who called me greedy, and I am just as bad as my sister, I ain't. I did not know of the will when I came here. Honestly, I had expected that there would be nothing for me seeing our past. I have never hated my parents. Not even my mom even after what she did, let alone my dad. I was just disappointed in them, but they're my parents no matter what. I was grief-stricken when I heard of his death. I am already in contact with a lawyer friend of mine and he has assured me that there's not much she can do because she is a part of the will and has not been ignored completely. She will probably lose whatever she has if she does. My sister got pregnant because my boyfriend flew every weekend to the place where my parents live and it is merely a two-hour flight. I did not know because his job requires him to travel all the time. I do not know the details though because I don't want to find out. I also asked if there's any way I can get the custody of my youngest sister because my mom and sister can mistreat her but as of now, I can't because there's nothing they have done of that sort. My sister has assured me that she will not take any bullshit from them and will immediately inform me. At the end of the meeting the dumbass husband of my sister threatened
threatened me saying, you will regret doing this, and I replied with a, once a cheater, always a cheater. My mother called me names and her words are the only thing that hurts me nowadays. I highly doubt they will stop here though. I am here in the town for the next 10 days. Hopefully everything goes well. I will update if something happens.